flying out. <laughs> <laughs> so we get copyright. Uh, well, I'm here finally. What the fuck are you doing? Man? Just one of the flight. Oh, that noise. Ah. Right. Can you uh, see out that windscreen, by the way? Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Okay, so it's not that lovely. TT 2022. Yeah, so what's uh, what's So this is it. So it's Friday, and um, so I flew in last night late because the EasyJet flight was cancelled, then delayed, and then yeah. Anyway, so uh, so this is Friday. The weather isn't looking pretty. You're supposed to have a nice, healthy. Was it five hours of practice today? Wasn't it was. It? Yeah, there was a. I think there was a an hour and a half for the big bikes and then an hour for the small bikes and then some stuff for the sidecars. So I would have probably got, if I'd have wanted to, I could have probably got maybe six laps in total. Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't have done six laps. I probably would have just tried to do two on the big bike and two on the little bike. It is dry, it's still dry at the minute and it, we've just tried to some people in the paddock and apparently it's dry all around the track but the forecast is really, really bad. Mm. Uh, so it's, we're thinking- I'm surprised they're gonna cancel it though. The whole lot. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, you only need you only need a lot of rain at one part. Yeah, the track, yeah. And then it's, yeah, true. And it fucks the job, doesn't it? So, um, I mean, we haven't heard it's definitely getting cancelled. We've just heard some fairly strong rumours that yeah. it's probably going to get cancelled. So from people that are from high people up. that ought to know. Yeah. So, but we're going to go get some fuel anyway, just because uh, in, if it doesn't get cancelled, we need some fuel. So, how much is petrol over here then? Is it cheaper? It's a little bit cheaper than home. Yeah. Uh, super unleaded oh. is. 171. Okay, we're sneaking that. Sneak it in. Sneak it. Why not grab a new 44 teeth holographic sticker? Available in the merch store now. We had the main beard, so it must, yeah, be, must yeah. be that one. Yeah. Just past showers. So, yeah, showers. being the brute that he is, he's uh, <gasps> he's broken the exhaust. What's he done? Broken the bracket? Yeah. So, uh, thankfully, there's a welding man in the paddock. It comes in every week, every week, every day. Animal. Yeah, I think it's the old. Uh, I think it's the old piss tank. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, gonna weld that up because the bolt at the moment. It lasted last night, didn't it? it lasted alright last night. Yeah. But it's not really worth a risk, is it? Yeah, it'd be a shame to um, to to not finish the race because yeah, something broke that we are that we knew was already <laughs> broken. Uh, ah, well, mate, we'll take the fucking end can off, won't we? What's actually broken then? Okay, sorry. Oh fuck yeah. So, so that, that's that one's attached to the. Oh, that's all right. That's bust. But, that, but then that's not attached to the. And that's completely bust. Oh. oh. Yeah, that probably didn't have long left, did it? That was a, that was one Bray Hill away from um, disappearing. <laughs> did you so, break the seat as well last night? Yeah, I brought the seat as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. Friday morning practice, well, Friday day practice got rained off, so we're back on this afternoon now. And um, 6.20? 6 6 6.20 it starts, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what's the plan, Gorbs? Well, I'm going to concentrate on the. Sorry, the, chins. Chins, yeah. The plan is to concentrate on the little bike tonight because I need to find a bit more speed on it. And. Um, but you qualified, didn't you? I've qualified on both, but. I need to find more speed on this. I need to find more speed on both bikes, to be honest. But I've got six lap, a six lap race to do tomorrow on the big bike, and I don't really want to fuck myself tonight. No. Um, by trying to trying to go balls out on this, just trying to go a little bit faster. Whereas the six hundred is a lot easier to ride. So, a couple laps on that, three, maybe, maybe, maybe three, maybe four laps on that tonight. Um, yeah. See how, see how we go. Don't you look handsome? Fit. So, a couple of hours before qualifying races, you get called up by numbers to scrutineering. Bikes go up, it checked every time they go out. Oh, hang on, we've got a problem here. Boovy's quite, he hasn't got enough money, or the sponsor's not good enough, so you don't get the fancy garage. No, my sponsor's actually really good. Well, it is, my but, I mean, sorry, sorry. It's not, yeah. there's not, um, doesn't bring enough money to the TT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my face doesn't fit. Your face doesn't fit, yeah. Chins. Wobbling around. <laughs> Just, I, I wish I could do a slow mo. Okay. They look, that's not normal. Oh, mate. But, uh, Does it hurt? Uh, uh, oh. 
it hurts when I haven't got loads of ibuprofen and paracetamol in me. Like in the morning when I've slept. It's all right now. Just turn it your ass, mate, don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. It's pretty nice. Yeah. And that was the last time we saw Boothy. Uh, for those of you who don't know and watching this video going, what the hell happened? Uh, he crashed during that qualifying session. So he'd just been out, done two laps, no problem. Done a third, again, no problem. And on that last lap, he was coming back in to do a, what would have been a well first, uh, a helmet cam, mic'd up helmet cam lap of the, of the TT course. Um, but he crashed at Joey's and it's not, I mean, cr any, any crash at the Isle of Man is, isn't ideal and Boothy crashed at Joey's which is a really quick right-hander. Um, I'm not going to go into the gory details or the details as such. It was a pretty traumatic experience for everyone involved there and I'm sure that Boothy will uh, tell the story at some point if he wants to. But he did suffer significant leg injuries and he was transferred, helicoptered to Nobles where they made him stable and then he was transferred by Medivac to Liverpool and he spent the last six weeks in there. Like I said, he suffered significant leg injuries. He broke both femurs, uh, both, tib both tibs and fibs and some spinal fractures, but that's now not a problem. Unfortunately though, the right lower leg was too bad to save. The soft tissue damage was pretty bad and the surgeons had no choice but to amputate. So it's gonna be a very long road to recovery and I'm sure some of you um, have already donated to the crowdfunder we set up, the official crowdfunder we set up. I just wanna say a massive thank you on behalf of everyone involved, Boothy included, for I think we're up to 43,000 pounds now, which is incredible. And there's one thing that we can count on is the motorcycle community and in particular the 44T family because it is one big family. And I know Boothy's blown away by it all. Like I said, it's gonna be a long road to recovery, but with this financial help, he can, you know, Boothy, Boothy's already talking about doing stuff that other people wouldn't even think about doing. Um, he wants, he's not the kind of guy to sort of sit around doing nothing. He wants to get as much physio and as much rehab as possible and get life back to normal as, or as normal as it can. So yeah, a massive thank you to everyone involved. He already has, some sort of plan in place. He's been to talking to um, kind of surgeons and um, consultants and getting a rough idea of what needs to happen and what's best for him. So, but yeah, it's gonna be tough, it, undoubtedly tough times. And we're gonna be doing everything we can to help Boothy get his life back to some sort of normality. But yeah, thank you so much for the financial support. Thank you for the continued support on the channel. It's gonna be tough for us, it's gonna be tough for everyone involved, but, um, We'll just keep cracking on. So, um, thanks for watching.